Hi everyone, Electro here. Uh, time to show you my water plug build. I'll first start off with what I bought and um, actually first I started grinding normal spark plugs trying to get the ceramic bit out and then the electrode out and that kept happening. It was troublesome getting the electrode out. The ceramic um, insulator kept breaking. Uh, it was very very difficult anyway so what I did was look into eBay and I got some antique plugs. Now these have got a number of advantages over the the modern ones but the the biggest one is they come apart so because I, I'm able to take that apart it makes getting the electrode out a lot easier because when these were made they used to glue things together the old-fashioned way, not the modern way, which you can't take apart. But anyway, there it is here. Now, I've got my electrode out. How I did that, actually, was... You can see here, there's a metal ring around there. I ground that off, and then I gripped at this with uh, vice grips, and I unscrewed it. And there it is here. As you can see, there's there's a there's a thread on that, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's one in there too. Now, if you try just to pull that out, it won't come. You have to unscrew it. So that's it. Now I'll just leave that in there for the time being, just to show you what it looks like. I can put my washer there now. Remember last week? I showed you the casting investment as a sealer. I'm going to use that here to reseal this when I put it together and in the electrode hole because that just goes straight through and uh, unless the electrode's got a, a sealer with it, it it's going to blow through air. Now I don't have to put investment all the way down, I just have to put a little bit around the top or around the bottom or both. That should seal it because it's not moving but it'll also make it easier to retrieve the electrode in the future if I want to change it because if it's got investment all the way down there it's going to be pretty hard to remove. If it's just got a little bit at the top and the bottom it's quite easy just to give it a twist and it'll come out. Once you break the, the seal of the investment it'll, it'll come out now. With this too I've just wire brushed it and cut the lugs off it. There's the other one. Just makes it easier to work with, looks newer and all etc. And I also what I want to do, and I've started doing it, you can see the machine marks at the top there, um, is reduce the height of that. So when I put the electrode in, the electrode just sits proud of the um, the thread so when I screw on my other machine bit with the um, quenching fins and all that machined into the top of it onto that it's a lot easier to get it to line up with the ceramic core like it is in the patent drawings so once that's together actually the Washer goes in there. That's there. Uh, there's the old electrode. You can see from the the marks there. That's where I gripped it with. Um, that's where I gripped it with the vice grips and unscrewed it. And the the bottom one. It was literally just twisting it free and then pulling it out because this one's not threaded. Now you can see the, the joint at the top there where the resistor was joined with this bit there but like I said that was easy to drill out and remove and now if I put my other electrode in there of course you can vary the length of this by the length of the, the electrode you put in there in the first place but um, once you screw in the, the bottom half there's a quick and easy and cheap way to 
make a water spark plug. Now as I fabricate the rest of this I'll keep you guys posted, especially the machining part, but um, again there's... Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> There's a bit of an uh, expense involved with that, so I'll, um, as soon as I get it done, I'll let you guys know anyway. By the way, on eBay for five dollars, I got six of these plugs, and um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so there you go. The other thing to show you guys is that this is my third rewind this one should be a lot better I've um, changed a lot of things on this one actually compared to what I had last time but uh, again it's just different things I'm trying that I learned on the other alternator uh, progressed a little bit but I'll wait till I get a bit further before I show you guys any results on the scopes uh, it'll probably take a few more rewinds as well. I've got some new wire on order and I've also got the other, the second alternator stripped ready to go and some new plastic bits that came in there on order because these ones are getting a bit old now. They've been taken in and out so many times as you can see they're, they're, they're getting quite hard to put back in and out so yeah more things to buy. You know how it goes. Anyway I'll, um, I'll keep you posted. Bye for now.